Hello, I'm Ronnie Beck, and this presentation is for partial fulfillment of requirements for Liberty University's fall semester of 2021 American Entrepreneurship since 1900. Monford Thomas Johnson was born in November 1843 in the former Chickasaw Nation of Indian Territory, or present-day Oklahoma. Johnson, a Chickasaw, was a well-known and respected entrepreneur noted for his successful ranching operation that spanned a large area of central Oklahoma, including parts of what would eventually become Oklahoma City. In 1868, Johnson created his first ranch. He purchased branding rights from his relatives. Furthermore, he agreed with the men of the neighboring farms to round up cattle set loose in the mountains during the Civil War. Monfort offered to pay for each cattle found in the mountains, and any unbranded cattle would be his outright. Showing his cognitive abilities, while rounding up cattle, he used salt licks, and he devised pin traps that allowed cattle to enter but did not escape. This significantly increased the number of cattle Monfort was able to corral with relatively little effort. Then, thanks to encouragement from his friend Jesse Chisholm, who was known for exploring and navigating what would become the Chisholm Trail, Johnson acquired land south of present-day Norman, Oklahoma. The area was largely undeveloped at the time, and Monfort thought it would be perfect to range cattle there. Monfort negotiated agreements with the tribes indigenous to the area, which allowed him to use the land as long as he did not hire white men as ranch hands. Monfort placed ranch hand Jack Brown, a Chickasaw freedman, in charge of the ranch. Jack received every fourth calf born on the ranch as payment for his services. This probably made Jack Brown the first sharecropper uh, in what is now Oklahoma. Over the next 25 years, Johnson expanded his operations. Johnson ran a trading store uh, located right on the Chisholm Trail, and Johnson also maintained a ranch outside of the Chickasaw Nation at Council Grove which is part of current-day western Oklahoma City. After Johnson died in 1896, his son, E.B. Johnson, consolidated their property into three ranches. He also expanded the family's cattle operations into the Texas Panhandle, and the Johnson businesses continued to thrive until the 1980s, when they were dissolved into individual holdings. In 2017, the Johnson family land was sold at auction for over $10 million. Monfort's final resting place is just south and west of present-day Oklahoma City. One of the questions uh, for this course and this week in particular is what type of technological innovations uh, were developed and used during this time frame. Because Johnson was in the Indian Territory and the lack of technology uh, possibly actually helped him to expand his business of ranching. During this time frame, much of the cattle industry still stemmed from the cattle drive uh, that went from Texas all the way through Oklahoma and Indian Territories up to those points in Kansas with the railroad hub. Also, the territories were under no restrictions for fencing provisions. This point could be made for the southern plains of Oklahoma and Texas, and also for the post-Civil War South. I look forward to your comments. Thank you very much.